Uh, and then he's on your left. On your right is Kyle Abel. Uh, he is playing basically a junk deck. It was one time very, very popular on the open series. Uh, like kind of a pre-Maverick uh, thing. So However, it does look like uh, Kyle Abel has a choke in play, so yeah. islands aren't untapping. However, Jesse has quite a few things that uh, must be dealt with uh, straight away. So Delver of Secrets has flipped Insect Isle Aberration as part of uh, part of that attack force. Two spirits are going to jump in the way of Delver and uh, Jesse. Okay, responds, Jesse using uh, using abrupt, abrupt decay, decay to deal with choke. the choke. But choke uh, puts another permanent type in the graveyard. And, and so I'm gonna up. guess that was the lethal yeah. lethal He's, play. So we're gonna go to a game three. Yeah, so not much to see in that match except that we saw that uh, Kyle has access to choke and Jesse has access to erupt decay. Yes. Uh, no surprise yeah, on choke either. Choke used side, to be a monster. I used to live in fear of choke. Yeah. Uh, and like I see when the open series was first new, uh, maybe two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Uh, I played a ton of counterbalance, uh, and choke was the the card I feared the most because it was just simply not a good answer to it. Uh, Oblivion Ring was slow and unreliable. Crossing Grip was very popular, uh, and Abrupt Decay, uh, Tension Sphere. Yeah, it did not exist. We're not printed. I believe. Uh first event I ever did uh, did coverage for was in San Jose and I think you did you win there in San Jose with counterbalance I won I won standard you won sta I knew you won that weekend what were you playing in standard rug yeah uh, I Lotus played Cobra, Jace the Mind Jace, Sculptor yeah uh, pretty good card but you did you you played I think counterbalance yes. in that tournament yeah I played counterbalance for the greater part of uh, two years yeah so and they are opportunity that was January 2011 yeah Looking at the uh, the sideboards, obviously they've already come into play uh, at this point in the match. Wow! You saw saw the chokes. What look do you at this. Uh, Kyle likes his uh, one offs. There are thirteen different cards in Kyle's sideboard. Uh, this counts on some of the things. Uh, the two, the two, uh, the multiple cards. There's one Crossing Grip, one Crucible of Worlds, one Stone Sword of Feast and Famine. That goes with the Stoneforge Mystic. Mm -hmm. uh, one Zealous Persecution. One Obsidat Ghost Council. Very nice. Uh, one Maelstrom Pulse. One Surgical Extraction. Oblivion Ring. One Humility. Hopefully that doesn't come into play. <laughs> uh, the aforementioned Choke and Engineer Plague. The only multiple copies are two Leyline of Sanctity and two Ethers One Canonist. Neither of which likely to. Uh come into play here. For sure, yeah. I mean, those are definitely for the unfair decks of yeah. the format. Yeah, bugged over. Not an unfair deck. I mean, the cards, I, the cards I would expect for the, be the cheap cards. Um, Sword of Feast and Famine is not bad. It's pretty poor against uh, Abrupt Decay, but good against, you know, black and green cards otherwise. Uh, and the choke, obviously, that we saw. Uh, yeah. yeah, on Jesse's side, he's got three copies of Submerge that uh, don't really have so many targets, but uh, he's also got two Disfigure. That's something that uh, I haven't seen in a while. Uh, oh, the smiley five. face. He's bringing it back. <laughs> I haven't seen that, that one in a while. That's classy. Either. Yeah, so he's got an additional Abrupt Decay. He's got a Dark Blast, which is nice against a lot of these, uh, basically the entire creature suite for Kyle. He's got a Maelstrom oh, okay. Pulse. As well, um, yeah. The, so he's got a lot of cheap Ky answers to Kyle's, Kyle's guys. Yeah, the, but the thing is, uh, Kyle doesn't have a lot of huge cards. Right. So, I think I think the submerge is probably un less likely than uh, than the yeah. dark blast, the abrupt decay. The, uh, he'd get the maelstrom pulse for like the the I guess the batter skull. Uh, oh, lingering souls tokens. And, uh, and lingering souls tokens. Yeah. But it's a nice catch-all. All right, so the problem. Judge Foil Caracas. Uh, Very nice. Cast Swords of Plowshares <laughs> just off camera. But, uh, so Foil Caracas casts White-Bordered Swords of Plowshares. Yeah, to deal with uh, Jesse's Deathrite Shaman. 
leaving with Kyle, or leaving Kyle with the only Death Rite Shaman in play at the moment here on turn two. There's a uh, DCI foil polluted delta. And he's going to, uh, Jesse's going to immediately fetch. He did bring in his submergence. Okay. He may the thing is, like, if I was playing a junk, a junk deck, uh -huh. I would expect a card like Knight of the Reliquary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not bad against uh, Death, uh, Death Rite Shaman or Dark Confidant. Yeah, I was also thinking Tarmogoyf. You know, right, Tarmogoyf is a card you would expect. Yeah, I so, think that's why you know, I, when I saw Submerge, I thought, oh yeah, Tarmogoyf, and then didn't lo I looked over, there was no Tarmogoyf. Right, so that's like a really th cool thing about Kyle's deck, being relatively unpredictable. Uh, not having cards you would expect, having a bunch of like different one offs. He has a bit of Blossom, a Sensei's Divining Top, uh, just one of each, one Soren Lord of Innistrad. Wow. So uh, Jesse uses Abrupt Decay to deal with Kyle's Death Right Shaman, and now Kyle. With, is that a Modern Masters Dark Confidant? Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, can you bring up the Modern Masters Mas Dark Confidant? Oh. Uh, I mean, we're pretty sure that's obviously what it is, but I, I would yeah. like to showcase it because Modern Masters obviously I have not just seen released. That. We haven't. This is the first Modern Masters that's the card, card we've had with on new art that we've seen on camera, right? Wow. I was trying to figure out what that card was, and that's that's fantastic. Like, yeah, that's been out uh, all of two, two days. days. Yeah, there it is. Dark Confidant, new artwork on uh, in the Modern Masters version. And of course, we all know what it does. But if you don't know, if you're new to the game or just uh, you know haven't haven't experienced the Dark Confidant, it is uh, it is a two one for two. It allows you to draw an additional card every turn, and you lose life equal to its casting cost, whatever that card happens to be. Now, what's great is when you just draw lands off the Dark Confidant. Yes, and, and then you draw a spell for your turn. Yeah. So Dark Confidant dealt with by Liliana of the Veil from Jesse Inman. So. These guys are just making a mess and cleaning cleaning each other's messes up. That's all that's happening here. No, uh, no additional, no additional card off the co dark confidant for Kyle Abel. So uh, Kyle's options are abrupt decay, lingering souls, and sort of feast and famine. Looks like it. there's also one card I'm not sure. Use uh, the uh, lingering souls. Maybe it's another Dark Confidant? I'm not... It's not being very uh, camera friendly. This card shuffling. But yeah, it is a black card. Some variety. In Jesse's hand we see a Tarmogoyf. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, he's uh, quite a glare in the, uh, yes. in, for his hand. Not on the table. Alright, he looks like he's going to... He has an Abrupt Decay as well. Cast the Tarmogoyf potentially? Yeah. Looks like that's the card he's... Nope. Thinking about. Just oh. kidding. Yeah. Jesse having second thoughts. Spirit upgrade there. I like to. I like Kyle's spirits as well. I actually don't have a preference between either one. Like I like these. I like Kyle. Yeah, I like. But these are these are very clear and obvious what you're using. Yeah. I always like using uh, some sort of official token or something with a at least with a printed power and toughness. So, Wasteland uh, from Jesse to deal with Kyle's dual land, and now he's going to follow that up with a Tarmogoyf. Liliana ticks up. See, once again, I think Jesse should have started with the Liliana activation. For the information? See, for the, like, for the with, withhold information. Exactly, right, right, right. Because so, now that Jesse Wastelanded uh, the green source, Kyle's more likely to discard something like Abrupt Decay. Right. So yeah, Kyle could have uh, potentially cast. discarded a land there if he felt like, you know what I mean, if he felt like mm -hmm. that was the play, then get Wastelanded, or a removal spell for Abrupt Decay, I mean yeah. for, uh, for Tarmogoy, like Abrupt Decay, so, you know, he making him choose so, the discard Yeah, he early. discarded the Sword of Feast and Famine, which ended up being like the, yeah, once you, if Kyle has a land, uh, the three lands, he can cast his sword, which is very good here, but if he doesn't have a land, it's it's not effective. Yeah, so he did draw into a land, but he has no access to green, so Abrupt Decay right. is a uh, dead card. And it's a card that he needs quite a bit. Yeah, at this point, an Abrupt Decay is huge. We have 
in addition to all the standard uh, card types, land, instant, sorcerer, creature, uh, there is a Planeswalker and Liliana Veil, an artifact uh, with Sword of Feast and Famine. I believe that is a second copy of Dark Confidant for Kyle Abel, it's hiding in the shadows. Wow! And a Golgari charm. Wowza! From Jesse Inman. A little showboating, but. You know, uh, clear Golgari Kyle's tribe. side of the world. That was a bonfire. High five. Yeah, that, that was like a All bonfire, right. wasn't it? I mean, kinda. Uh, and, Kyle, Kyle gives Jesse the high five for Golgari charming. You no, know, I think he deserves it. I like it. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and of course, there you see Golgari charm if you haven't seen it in standard. So, um, Grave, uh, Plummets to a 5 6 for the turn. Yeah, so good call. Deals 5 it's, damage. Right, right. Uh, so but I think. Uh, it's, it's actually interesting how these charms actually have some impact in Legacy. Again, another well, they're standard. They're so flexible, turn. and you, right. need, you want flexible cards that destroy each of the card types. Yeah, and so that, that uh, easily dealt up. with the. Yeah. Dealt with this. He was probably planning on Gol using Golgari charm for those Lingering Souls tokens anyway, and then just got extra value when Kyle decided to add a second Dark Confidant onto the board. But. Uh, as we see, flashback Lingering Souls from Kyle. Uh, here comes the Tarmogoyf from Jesse yet again, this time with the full six power, seven toughness. Um, just to clarify, did, is Kyle at 14 or 15? Because like you said, that Tarmogoyf yes. should have been, that yeah, is 15, okay. I, Good call. If Good I could call. see Kyle's life path correctly, he just uh, corrected it. Okay, so... And then now he's deciding whether or not he wants to block this time of life. Right. Okay, so yeah, that Golgari charm didn't only affect Kyle's side of the board. Jesse's creatures get minus one, minus one as well, so it was just a five power Tarmogoyf that got in last turn and knocked Kyle to 15, so... And looks now, like it's yeah. knocking in the nine here. Yep. I think. It looked like a life total uh, change. Yeah, that is a, that's a nine on screen. So yeah, Kyle, I can, I can Kyle that, falls yeah. the nine. So, what's Jesse's follow-up? It is a Misty Rainforest and a Plant. Plant 5. Well, what do you do to punish somebody that has uh, a bunch of lands? You draw Wasteland. Not super effective here. No, he's got an Abrupt Decay, but no green that, mana right now. Yes. He's pretty much drawn all of his uh, non-green sources. He does have Scrublands in his deck. This time, looks like he's planning on blocking that Tarmac Boy because he's left both spirits back. Yes. And, uh... I like attacking with one of the spirits. Right. Uh, simply because the attack's not lethal. Exactly what I'm Even thinking. if you are planning on chump blocking. And but Jesse Golgari again charm, with another number Golgari two. Charm. Two Golgari charms? <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, it's like... Yeah, wow. they're there. That's both of them. What is that? Looks like a chump blocker to me. Uh, go back to Jesse's turn. Can't draw another Golgari charm. <laughs> Nor would it be good. Snapcaster Mage? No, he does have two. Yeah, you're right. It wouldn't be great here. But, uh... Yeah. Looks like something big for Jesse. He's fetching, anyway. Yeah, for uh, all this mana. Oh, a hardcast submerge, I believe, is going to be. Uh, yeah, because the opponent, his opponent doesn't control the forest. Yeah. <laughs> because he wastelanded it. There, yeah, there there's it the submerge. There's the lethal attack from yeah. Time Gorf, and there's the handshake. <laughs> Jesse uh, Inman wins two to one with some fantastic plays.